Hey guys, so today I just wanted to show you my little Cricut setup here. And if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, most of this stuff looks pretty familiar because I showed it in the past. But we obviously have this here being a new thing, and then these little cups with dead crickets and cricket sheds and poo in them. Because this is actually for my little dermestid beetle babies that are in this container. Which I think, yeah, there's one right there. Let me see if it comes back out from underneath that cardboard. So I had one beetle, which I will put a picture of. Um, one beetle that came, oh, there it is, right there. There's one of the babies. It's a very big, chunky baby, as you can see there. Not all of them are that big. You can see one is also moving around in the little container itself. Those are probably the bigger babies. They're really close to turning into beetles. The mom I just saw earlier, and I know she's the mother because she's the only adult beetle, and it must be a girl. But anyway, when I went to buy crickets, oh, it was probably like five months ago, I want to say. When I bought crickets five months ago or so, um, I had one dermestid beetle that came with it. And what a dermestid beetle is, is pretty much a beetle that eats droppings and dead things f to keep the tank clean, pretty much, to say it nicely. So I've got a whole bunch of little tiny babies that are living inside, or if they're bigger like those ones, living outside of those little cups there. So every time I clean the cricket cage, I pour stuff into these so that the babies can eat on them. And of course, the older babies will roam throughout the tank, and any crickets that die, they will eat on their bodies and stuff. So, of course, you know. Um, under here, we have the calcium, which I just gave them a new one. We've got some Pangea that the geckos did not eat tonight. On that little dish there, we've got their water dish. And then this here has all the moss for the crickets to wash themselves. And if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that because crickets excrete oils naturally from their body, those oils actually kill the other crickets around them when they rub up against each other enough. So the crickets are actually smart enough. They will go in here and pretty much bathe in the uh, moss. And it actually helps them live longer, I've found, by keeping them with moss. So I just have regular, I believe it's sphagnum moss, terrarium moss, something like that. Um, and I just keep it damp. They also, the females have been laying eggs in there. Now, I don't know if they're going to hatch or not. I've been keeping my eye out for baby crickets. But um, I've been keeping it damp in there. Not really moist, but just damp. So that if there are any eggs that are fertile that hatch, um, they'll have a fighting chance of living. The babies will. There's another older baby beetle. Still haven't spotted the mom. I just saw her before I started the video because she was roaming around over here. But yeah, it's just really interesting getting to watch this little ecosystem. And you can see here, we've got some of them hanging out. Looks like another really big fuzzy baby hanging out against that uh, piece of the egg carton. Not seeing the mom. I was hoping to see her somewhere in here. Just not spotting her, seeing if she had gone under the paper towel, but she hadn't. But yeah, if you guys ever do a cricket setup, which you obviously can do something better if you want to. Obviously, I don't need a whole bunch of crickets right now just because my baby geckos are kind of on a diet. The older ones anyway, and uh, the adults are mainly the only ones eating them. So I've been keeping about 50 crickets, I think, is what I normally buy. But this just kind of gives you an idea. If I had to guess, this is probably like a a little bit bigger than a five gallon, if I had to guess. It's just one of those critter keeper deals that I used to use just for transporting stuff. Pretty sure way back when they actually sold these at Walmart, that's where I bought it. But, uh, or at least at my Walmart, they may sell them at other Walmarts still. I'm going to look and see if it happens to have the beetle mother in one of these. But yeah, I just got lucky with getting a dermestid beetle in there, because not... I don't think I've ever gotten any other time a packaging of crickets with a dermestid beetle in there because you know if you've gotten crickets anywhere at a pet store they normally will take and they have a little funnel and they take the cardboard crates and they smack the crates onto the funnel so that the crickets fall into the funnel and then they count them out into the bag. Well most of the time I've never gotten a beetle in there except for this last time like well five months or so ago and what luck that the beetle happened to be a female and not a male, because obviously now I have a whole bunch of baby beetles. But uh, best care tips I can give for the beetles 
is I found that having these little deals that you tear off, I'm sure there's a specific name, but when you tear off this part of the egg crate, I just have three of them in there because I have so much poo and bodies and stuff that I just pour in there whenever I clean that I have three of them now. But uh, I would definitely suggest having stuff like this because I would not just leave this in the tank laying around. It makes it smell really gross. It still has a stench to it, but it's not as bad when it's in specific areas. Oh my, look at this one baby beetle. It was like looking around. That was cute. Now they can fly somewhat, but obviously I've never had any of them try to escape and the mother is too big to squeeze through here. And I make it to where they can't get high enough like this is even with this so that they are far away from the lid so that there is no chance of them actually being able to escape as babies. But um, I feel like if they did escape, they'd probably just die. Unless they're this far along, they may pupate into a beetle, possibly. But like I said, they eat on decaying things, pretty much. That's what they eat on in feces. So I really don't think it'd be awful if they escaped. But yeah, I like to keep this at the room humidity that I have. So right now, the humidity in my room is pretty low. It's like 45%, which I guess is not that low, but um, it's 45% right now just because of the heat having to be ran because it's cold outside. But normally, most houses range between 55 and 65% humidity, just naturally. Um, and I normally like to mist this just at night. Like you can see that there is water on here because I have misted recently. Um, so I normally don't keep it super duper damp because obviously I don't want mold growing, but I do mist a couple times a night to offer fresh water. They do, of course, have a water dish that's over there that I got from Strody's and they really have been using it because I've actually seen the older baby cr uh, crickets, the older baby beetles actually kind of crawl up the side, get a drink and then leave. And of course, the crickets really like using that as well. I do have to change it out every other day, though, because there's so many crickets that they get it dirty and stuff because they come out of here and they go into the water and they, you know, get moss in there. And then, of course, if there's anything that's died, they're just laying in there and stuff. So, but yeah, pretty much if you're having any baby dermestid beetles care wise, I would just do something similar to this. If you have crickets, if you have something like dubia roaches or any other type of insect that you want to have them in with, if you just get little pieces of the egg crate and just put droppings in there, or if you have any dead insects that are from that colony, obviously not from outside or anything, um, you can put them in there as well because obviously the babies will feed on that stuff. And I make it easily accessible so they can come in and out of those. I don't make it to where the babies have a hard time, which is cardboard anyway, so they can get a good grip on it. But uh, I just kind of wanted to show you guys because I've been really enjoying watching these beetles grow. First there was only maybe like five or six babies and now there's so many. Like, if I had showed it when I was changing earlier, the paper towel and everything, there was so many babies just running everywhere. And I'm really not seeing a whole bunch of them now. I feel like they're probably all hiding inside of here because I would poured them in there. And I've only been seeing the older babies ro roaming around, but I'm sure some of them have gone into the humid hide as well. But what this is made out of, if you guys will remember, in the past I actually purchased, and I'll grab it real quick to show you. So in the past, I'd bought two of these. They're bird baths from PetSmart. And they were on like clearance or whatever because they were getting rid of them. So I was originally going to be turning these into gecko hides. But I never really figured out how to keep this from, you know, sliding off so easily. While still making it to where it could come apart for cleaning. So I got to thinking because the moss would make my paper towels so gross. They also would make the paper towels mold when it got wet. So I got to thinking, at first I had it up like, upright like this, but then the baby beetles had a hard time getting in there because of this height difference from the floor to the entrance. So then I decided, well, hey, we might as well just flip it. Now it's completely even with the floor and the baby beetles can get in there just as easily as the crickets. And that has been working so much better so far. Um, not only do I have to not worry about paper towel molding now, but I can mist in there and I know that it's not going to evaporate as quickly as just bare moss laying on the paper towel. So definitely a few things to think about if you're wanting to try keeping uh, crickets for a long period of time, having something like that for them to bathe themselves, and if you're going to have dermestid beetles in there, having something 
for them to be able to raise babies in. Because, like I said, my female beetle that's in there has definitely been busy laying eggs, which is just crazy because <laughs> apparently they can retain sperm for a long time because, like I said, she's the only one in there. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope this wasn't too boring. But I just wanted to show you because I love getting to see things like this, like seeing the beetle babies turn into, you know, adults, which obviously I know there's more technical terms, but I like calling them my babies because they're cute. <laughs> Even though some people probably wouldn't say cute is the word to use for baby beetles, but for me, they're adorable, like they're little chubby, round, fuzzy creatures. As long as they're not eating on my insect collection, I'm happy, which of course it's carpal be carpet beetle larvae I have to worry about. Not these guys, so different type of beetle species. But anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. It, of course, always encourages me to make more videos. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good rest of your evening, and thank you for watching.